guys so um, this is my first time ever like doing tutorial and talking directly to the camera I never do such thing before on this channel so this is how I look like and for those who are wondering and sorry for the noise that coming from my laptop because the fan like spinning quite fast to cool down the CPU and name it's so awkward for me to talk through the camera with my face but uh, anyway um, today tutorial is how to do a simple uh, glitch effects inspired from that one blonde kid now on his video uh, the way he do his glitch is pretty simple what he basically do he make a rectangular mass on a certain subject or an object and then add a simple glitch look and that's how he make the glitch on his video and you can do it too inside Vegas Pro and you don't need any external plugin to do this same effect so I have my video pretty much loaded up in my timeline and this is how the video looks like and what I wanted to do what I want to do is basically add the glitch on this girl here which is my friend so right now what the first thing you want to do is find the moment of the frame that you want to glitch it, the glitch to be happening so let's just say this exact frame here all you have to do is just add a marker by pressing M on your keyboard as the guidance or reference where the glitch is going to be start once you're done you can go ahead duplicate the track so the duplicated video on the top where you will do the mask and add the glitch so on a duplicated track on the uh, marker here you want to press the event pen and crop and this video event effects window will be popping up so you just add a one keyframe on the position and enable mask and add another keyframe and you want to go one keyframe backward and then you want to add one keyframe for both position and the mask as well all right once you've done that you want to go back to your uh, previous keyframe uh, make sure you select the second keyframe of the mask press the rectangular tool and do a simple rectangular shape on this person here or whatever object they basically masking out on your video so once you've done that you can go ahead click the position click the second keyframe and then zoom it in slightly bit maybe you can zoom in more if you want to once you're done you can go a few keyframe forward uh, and then add another one so maybe this one we want to bring it a bit uh, back and then on this empty uh, section here you can move the uh, the position to whatever position you want it to be and then move one forward and then just move it to whatever again you want it to be so that the frame will be randomly move around and then go back to the very last keyframe here and then you want to select to default basically it will just change the whole position to default uh, position here once you've done that you can close this uh, video event effects here now if we play our video you can see the glitch start to happening but there's no glitch look yet on our mask uh, section here so to add the glitch look here you can go to video effects tab and add an effect called a TV simulator just drag and drop into our duplicated uh, clip a certain way you can see the glitch uh, kind of look into our uh, object here or our subject so uh, you can customize the look to whatever you want it to be but in this tutorial we're gonna make it look something similar to one blonde kid glitch so what you can do is just tone down the aperture grill bring down the interlacing a bit and then we're gonna add a tiny bit of line sync and let's just increase you know maybe a few percent of the scan pacing and this uh, phosphorus sync is that how you pronounce it I don't know um, you can tone it down because it's like a blue tint on your mask I don't want that blue kind of tint and once you happy how the glitch look like and when you play back it's like 
looks something similar to 1.k but the problem now if I go to the very first uh, in the beginning of the timeline I play back it affecting the whole video track so what you can do is just right click and then insert and uh, sorry you make sure you right click on an empty layer here uh, and then insert mute okay so you can see this one blue line above your video track and then you want to basically go to the very beginning here of the timeline and then just bring it down to zero basically it will mute the whole layer track and then go back to the uh, marker that you add previously and then you want to right click at a point and then the point that you've added just bring it up so basically on the very first section here your video is offline on the sec on the duplicated track but once it uh, reach on the um, the point that you've added and unmuted your video is going to be online so if we play back here from the beginning that's the glitch will be start to happen problem now it lasts too long so you can just end the glitch by adding another point and then just bring it down to mute so only this certain portion that your video is going to be online playing and show to the preview window so there you go, we already have our simple uh, one blonde kit sort of glitch um, by using Vegas Pro. So if you have any question related, you can just leave it down in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you guys. And damn, it's pretty hot here. So let me just switch on my fan. So yeah, bye guys. So this is how my setup looks like. And I got my camera, my monitor there. And whenever I press record, I will switch off my fan here. And I've been recording in heat. So yeah, I hope you guys appreciate this video. And yeah, see you guys next time.